Hi guys and dolls. I get a lot of requests to do a video showing how I fill in my brows, but I have an older video from a few, a few years ago and not much has changed in terms of the application. Uh, but recently, uh, when I dyed my hair red, I went through kind of a little bit of a transitional phase where I was still filling my brows in the ash color that I was doing when they were pink. And I kind of, you know, had a reality check and I was like, okay, this is not really working for me anymore. I did actually at one point uh, put red hair dye in my brows quite successfully. I was really happy with the results. But I still like to shape them just a little bit with color. I like to use a concealer and a brown pencil just to ground it. And, well, you'll see when you see the tutorial. So if you'd like to learn how I uh, fill in my eyebrows for my red hair, then let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I always start my brows by making sure that I have them groomed and in, in good shape. So I brush the hairs up and see if there's any that I need to trim. Uh, and then I just go ahead and cut those down because I don't want them to be wild. My brows tend to actually grow really long, like over an inch in some areas. So this is a total must for me. Then I make sure that they are kind of within the parameters that they're meant to be. Of course, you can fashion your brows any way you like, but the general guideline is that you want them to start um, a little bit further in than your actual tear duct. You want to line them up so that they end at the outer corner of your eye. If you were to drag uh, like a pencil or something from your the outer corner of your nose to the outer corner of your eye, that is where you want your eyebrow to end. Some people's are a little shorter, some are a little longer. It's really up to you, but that's kind of the general guideline. So once I have my brows groomed, I want to highlight them before I begin with the actual brow color. So what I'm going to use is this highlighting pencil that I'm going to use the pink side. Uh, if you have a deeper skin tone, the gold tone might look really nice on you. Uh, and yeah, just draw that on right as close to the eyebrow as I can get it without actually putting it onto the eyebrows. And then I use a double-sided brush from Urban Decay. Uh, this is one that came with the Naked 2 palettes. So one side's uh, like a concealer type brush and the other one is more of a fluffy brush. And what I'll do is I will apply it with the flat brush and then blend it out with the fluffy brush. This will also hide any hairs that you have that aren't ready to be plucked yet or if you don't have time to pluck them, this can kind of mask some of that. And then I'll go back with a colorless powder just to set that concealer or highlighting pen or whatever you want to call it into place. Next I go through with the Sigma Brow Pencil and this is a double sided pencil. One is dark and one is medium. I prefer to use the dark one because of the black part of my hair. It helps sort of ground uh, my, you know, the look. So I take this all along the bottom edge of my brow to define and clean up the shape. Uh, if I were to just do the orange on its own, it would look okay, but it's a little bit too orange for me, I think, because of the black that I have in the bottom of my hair, so that's just something to keep in mind. Alright, and then I go in with my favorite product, the Gingerella Pencil from Vanity Mark. It's an ultra brow pencil, and I'll start to fill in the brow, sort of drawing up from that brown line to kind of pull both colors in through the brows, and I will fully color in my brow with this, even though I don't necessarily need a fill it helps to tint my brows the right color and then occasionally if I need to I will go through with the concealer one more time just around the, uh, uh, the upper edge of the brow to make sure everything's nice and crisp and you know I haven't taken my brow powder and put it all over my forehead or something like that then to set I use a clear brow gel this one's from the uh, the Sigma set you can use any clear brow gel that you want I haven't really noticed a massively huge difference between different ones so that is my eyebrow tutorial, that's what I use. It's a couple of pencils and I didn't always like to use pencils. In fact, this is like a new development, me using pencils for a long time I've been using powders. And another thing that I've been using ever since it came out like five minutes ago, the Sigma Brow Expert Kit. Uh, this one has a bunch of different brow colors, so if you're like me and you change your, you know, eyebrow color all the time, this is helpful. But it also comes with everything you need. It comes with tweezers, um, some of these little brow shaping things, which you can see I've tried. But, I mean, honestly, I don't really use those. Some people do, though, so it's nice that they include them. Uh, scissors. I will say that the tweezers and the scissors are kind of... Mm, how did this turn into a review for this? I don't know, but anyway. Um, <laughs> it has this highlighting stick that has, like, a gold and a pink highlighter. I like the pink highlighter. I don't have much use for the gold one because it's just too frosty for my, you know tastes basically. The dark brow uh, eyeliner is one I use today, then they have a medium one. Either one of these can be used and you can just go over it with different powder or whatever. It has a sharpener for this jumbo size pencils that they have in here and then it has, it has, they have, it has, whatever. 
Uh, it has five different brow powders, so again, if you wanted to do this same dark around the bottom, uh, you know, and then your actual brow color on top, you could use this Valentina dark one and then use some of these other colors on top. Uh, it comes with the clear brow gel, which I used today, and the uh, colorful brow gel, which actually is pretty nice. It has a little bit of shimmer to it, um, but it actually makes your brows look less flat. So if you have like really powdery looking brows sometime, you should try this because it has some shimmer in it. And then of course it has the double-sided um, like brow brush and spoolie, which I also used in today's tutorial. I don't know how this video turned into a review for that, but there you go. I hope that you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to just be yourself. See you, bye.